video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the uh, project case from Recollections from Michaels. You can get this at Michaels. Um, there's also an Iris Slim project case that Michaels also sells online, and they have two sizes. Um, the Recollection one, the one in store is only this size, the smaller one, but the Iris one, um, Iris brand, they have two different ones. I originally bought this case because I thought I was going to use it for 12 by 12 scrapbooking kits. But then once I got it home, I realized it was, it was even though it says 12.9 by 12.1, it doesn't fit 12 by 12 paper. And even on the, even here it says it only fits 8.5 by 11 paper. <laughs> but the bigger one from Iris, um, it does fit 12 by 12 paper. So I just recently got some of those and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to be using the bigger ones. But for the smaller ones, I created a blog post a couple weeks ago about what fits in these um, slim project cases. And also, these fit on the calyx unit, so it's really cool. These You can fit eight of these in one of your cubes on the calyx. You can also fit eight of these in a Michael's Recollection cube. And also, eight of these fit in the Lekman, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but L-E-K-M-A-N box from Ikea that is uh, made to fit into the calyx unit. So it's, you can really get a lot of storage using these cases, um, store a lot of small things. And um, really, I love these cases. They're just awesome. <laughs> so um, I had a couple people ask me how I created the insert that I'm using. And so that's what this video is going to be about. If you wanna check out my blog, I'll leave a link down below and I have a bunch of pictures out there and information about what I found fits in these, um, these, these in these slim project cases. So let's get started with the insert. What you're going to need is some cardstock or lightweight cardboard. Um, I tried using uh, car some thicker like cardboard, like the back of a paper pad, and it was really too thick. And the way that I made these cases was I used scoring, and um, it, you have to really have something that's heavy enough to work, but light enough that you can score it. Let me just show you really quick what it looks like inside. So these are all Nevo crystal drops and you can see you can fit three rows um, with the stickles. They're a little bit smaller so you can fit three rows plus you have a little bit of space down at the bottom. And um, the insert you can see here is just white cardstock. So the nice thing about it is once you get the insert in there and you load it up with your stickles or your Nuvo crystal drops, you can actually store it on yourself vertically like this so that all your bottles are upside down. So scoop, I think it's uh, really a good solution for stickles and Nuvo crystal drops as well as other things. This is the case that I'm going to be using um, to talk about how to create the insert. I haven't created an insert for this case. And I have a mixture of both Nuvo crystal drops and stickles in here, but I'm thinking since I have the bigger bottles that I'm going to just create it so that this entire case, eventually if I got more Nuvo drops, I would just use this case and I would take these, these out maybe and put them in a different case. But for now, this is kind of like my overflow. I have one case of Nuvo crystal drops and this is the extra ones that I have. And then I have one case of stickles, and these are the extra stickles that didn't fit in there. What you're going to want to do is create, um, take a piece of cardboard or thick cardstock. And I have this cardstock that I got from Amazon, and I'll leave a link down below. It's a 13 by 19 size. And I actually bought this cardstock to use to print out 12 by 12 um, scrapbook layouts. I don't find that it works very well for that because the ink just gets sucked into the paper, but it's really, really heavy. It's much thicker than I thought it was going to be. It's probably equivalent to Recollections um, one 10 pound cardstock. It's, this is really heavy. Okay, so it made, um, made a really good paper or cardstock to use to do this insert. You can really use any cardstock that you have. Even a thinner cardstock would work. And um, even if it's smaller than this, what you can do is do part of the, um, use like a 12 by 12 and then add on to it with another 12 by 12. So super easy to do. What we're going to do though is I'm going to take one of these Nuvo drops because we're going to use that as a guide. And one of the things I wanted to point out before I show you how to make the, um, 
insert is that this case is not completely square. It has these um, indentations at the top and then there's an even bigger one at the bottom. And so that makes it a little bit more challenging because um, once we make the insert, we're going to have to cut around that to make it fit into the case. And then the other thing is that when you're putting things in here, if it fits on this area, it may not fit in the middle because you have less space in the middle. So unfortunately, that's just kind of the way the case works. <laughs> so let's see. You can um, use a ruler for this process or you can use a scoreboard. Having a scoreboard makes it much easier, but you don't necessarily need a scoreboard to make to make this insert. So this case is about 12 and a quarter plus maybe a little bit. I'm just going to go with 12 and a quarter. It doesn't need to be perfect. <laughs> so what we're going to do is take our cardstock. And one of the things that's kind of a challenge here is that this is too big to fit into my um, paper trimmer. So this is like 13 inches. So what I'm going to do first is um, I'm not going to use a paper trimmer to cut this off. I'm going to just score down and I lost my score tool that came with this board just recently. I don't know what to do with it, but I have these. Um, these are like tools for like to make uh, flowers. I can't remember what they're called, <laughs> but um, anything you don't really even need to have a scoring tool. Anything with a blunt end or a round end would work. Um, but you're going to want to have something probably about maybe, you know, this size or, you know, you could probably do something a little bit bigger. But the first thing I'm going to do is I want to, this is the 13 inch sheet of paper. So I'm going to take off an inch because I found that a 12 inch size works really good. I think it's 12 and a quarter that I measured there, but I just like to go 12 inches because then that way I don't have to worry about if it's a little bit too big, it's not going to go. And this cardstock is so thick. Um, I have sometimes it jumps off the. Uh... Okay. Then what I'm gonna do is since it's so big, it's not fitting on my uh, scoreboard. I'm just gonna flip it over and score the rest of it. Oops! And you see it jumped off, so it's almost a little bit too thick to do this. <laughs> I think if it was any thicker, I wouldn't. I would probably wouldn't be able to score it at all because you wouldn't be able to feel the groove from the scoreboard enough to be able to um, make your line without it uh, with with the line keeping the line straight. Okay, next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to cut off this uh, edge here. And this is some really thick cardstock. <laughs> I had no idea when I ordered it, it was that thick. But it, it was relatively inexpensive considering it's 13 by 19 inches. It's card heavyweight cardstock. And I think I calculated it, it came out to be like about 19 cents a sheet. So pretty reasonable cost for um, a piece of paper or cardstock this size. And um, I think I'm looking into getting um, some printer, I think I saw there's like a printer presentation weight paper that's better for printing um, 12 by 12 scrapbook layouts because you need something that the ink is not going to just like soak right into the paper. This just sucks the ink up and it just, it looks very um, washed out when you print on this. So I'm kind of disappointed with that, but it's coming in handy to use uh, for other things. Um, you can use it for card bases and for projects like this to make a, an insert. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is um, turn it this way, sorry, and we have this um, Nouveau Drops as our measurement. We want to make sure that we can fit three of these Nouveau Drops in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line it up with my scoreboard and figure out where um, it's going to be. And it looks like it's about um, three and a half inches. Yeah, three and a half inches. So I'm going to allow three and a half inches for each row and then when I make the part that sticks up I'm going to make that an inch. Now originally I had when I did this I made it three quarters of an inch and I found that because these bottles are quite large it really needed to have and, and to make it really stay 
um, to where it wasn't moving around too much in the case. An inch works better. So what we're going to do is score at three and a half. And then an inch, so that's four and a half. And then five and a half. So what we're doing here is, this is our space for our bottle, for the, the needle drops to sit. And then these next three score lines are going to make um, the divider that sticks up. So we're gonna be folding this and gluing it together. And then the next one, we're gonna do another row. So this, we need another row for the, another bottle. So that will be another three and a half inches. So let's see, that would be nine. Score on the 9 inches, and then on the 10 inches, and then on the 11 inches, and so here's our second row and our second divider. Now I ran out of scoreboard, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around, and I'm going to work backwards from this point, going this way. So now that I've created a divider, I want another row for my for my crystal nubo drop. So I'm going to go three and a half inches. So that'll be um, one, two, three. So I'm going over to four and a half. Oops, and that one went off the rails. <laughs> this card cardstock is very thick. Okay, so now we're going to go three and a half inches. Oops, there we go again. And then two and a half inches. So I decided to add an additional video clip into this um, video because I wanted to be able to show people how to use a smaller size cardstock. If you don't have 13 by 19, you can still make this insert. You just have to use more than one sheet of cardstock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab two pieces of cardstock and um, what you're going to do is you're going to do exactly the same scoring in the on the first sheet. So we're going to start with three and a half, which is our the size of our Nubo drops. Then the one inch divider. So four and a half, and then five and a half. And then we're going to go nine, which will be our second row for our Nubo drops. Then ten and eleven. And then you'll have this extra piece right here that um, you will we'll cut off. So what we're going to do then is we're going to take our second sheet and we're going to score one inch. And that's going to be, this is going to become the piece that we attach to our first piece of cardstock. So we're going to score at one inch. Then we're going to do our th third row, which will be three and a half inches. So that'll be four and a half. So we're going to score at four and a half five and a half, and six and a half. And then we're gonna be cutting away this part over here as well. So let's go ahead and trim up our cardstock here. I'm going to be trimming off just the last row. And then on this one, we're going to be turning off the end right here. Alrighty then. The next thing we're going to do is we're just going to attach these two pieces together. And I'm going to use a combination of liquid glue and adhesive, the tape gun. Just gonna take this together. Actually, you probably, yeah, I think probably you should use both just to make sure it stays together. But um, we're just gonna take and butt these two pieces together like that. And now you have a piece uh, that's big enough to create the insert. So what we're gonna do is just gonna fold it on the score lines. And if you have a bone folder, you could use your bone folder to do this as well. But um, I'm just going to score it back and front. So you can see here how now I've created um, 
we have the row here where the Nevo drop is going to sit and then here's our divider and we're just going to glue that together and then we'll do the next row here's our second divider the third divider so then once we glue these together you'll end up with uh, enough you know with the divider that'll fit in there now we're going to have to do some trimming here because um like i said the the case is not a it's not a square or rectangle it it does have some places where it, it indents the plastic indents so we're going to have to cut around there and i think um i'll probably cut this part off on here as well or maybe no it's this shorter one i'm going to cut this little piece off as well using my paper trimmer so we'll get left with or actually you could just you could just tuck it under like that if you wanted to just do that you don't even have to cut it off so you glue those glue those two three together and then we'll be able to cut around the places in the case and insert it into the case the next thing we're going to do is to glue this together and um I'm going to use uh, two different kinds of uh, adhesive. I'm going to use the tape runner or an ATG gun, and that's going to kind of stick it together temporarily so that the wet glue would dry. I'm also going to be using this um, Tombow mono liquid glue, but any liquid glue, glue would work. And what I'm going to do is just put a couple of strips of this just on one side. And then I'm going to do it on all three. It's easier just to do it all at the same time. Okay. We're going to take our liquid glue and we're just going to put it on the other side. In this way, the um, ATG gun will help keep it closed while the wet glue dries, but the wet glue is really what's going to keep it attached. Oops. All right, once we have the glue and the tape on there, I'm just going to fold it together. going to give it some time to uh... one thing you could do is once you get to this point you could um, put something heavy on top of it for just a minute to, to help it set and uh, once this kind of stays stuck I'll come back and show you the next step okay so uh, once we have this made what we're going to do now I think I'm going to go ahead you could fold this under um, I guess I could just do that. Fold it under and glue it there. That might that might work okay. All right. Next thing we're gonna do is just we're gonna put this into our case. And you'll notice that when we have it in the case on this side, it's it's this divider is butting up against this, so it that's okay because it's it doesn't need to be trimmed on this side. But the side over here, which is it's hitting this little indentation right here. So what I like to do is I just would mark with a pencil or a pen, whatever you have, and just mark around it. And then I'll cut into this a little bit on both sides. And then go across. And I don't like to take too much off. If I need to take off more, I can always go back and, and cut more off. But you're just going to make an indentation or cut into it like that to go around that area of the case that's sticking out. Okay, looks like I did pretty good. All right. So um, that's your insert. And at this point, you can go ahead and load it up <laughs> with all your stuff. So I hope, I hope everybody found this uh, information about how to make this insert useful. If you like this video, give it a like. If you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe. I'm going to be um, doing another video on 12 by 12 paper organization that's going to be coming up probably in a couple of days. Been working on that for the last week. <laughs> it's been a little bit of a challenge, but it's going to be coming out soon. I also wanted to mention I have a Facebook group that I created for this organization series. 
for people to be able to share ideas, ask questions, and discuss, you know, things like this. If you have a question about how I created something, you can go there, um, join the, the Facebook group. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. You can just click the link and then request to join, and I will add you to the group. And um, I hope y'all will come and join and come back and watch more organizational videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.